first day I was very shy because I really didn't know anyone. I knew some people from my school, but I didn't know everyone from my school. And there's like little kids there. Now going there, just like a second home. Saying hi to all the staff members, helping them out, helping with the little kids with their homework. It's really fun. We have a safe place for the kids to come, which is our independent clubhouses. So our kids get to come and that's their place, a safe place for kids. And in that are dedicated, caring, and highly trained staff who are there to promote them and their development, whether it be through academic success, good character and leadership, or a healthy lifestyle. Since going to the Boys and Girls Club, it's helped her to gain confidence. Um, it also helped her take on and face new challenges. I have learned the leadership skills to help my dreams come true. Transitioning from an old school to a new school can be hard on any child, but having that family nurturing environment that the Boys and Girls Club surprise has helped her a lot. When you're there, the staff, everybody around you, they make you feel like a part of the family. Anything Jason uh, wants to talk about and may not feel comfortable with mom, he has mentors at the Boys and Girls Club, and I love it. it. It's taken us a long way. It really has. I could do my homework there. I could write up papers on the computer, and it was a lot there. There was a lot of resources, whereas though when I was not there, I was limited because at home we didn't really have anything to do. Some of the kids come from pretty difficult backgrounds, um, single parent possibly. But you know, th these kids have accepted the idea that with a little guidance, they can do what they want to do. They can be successful at anything they choose to do. I have to attend school regularly, study hard, and get good grades. I, ho I hope to attend the University of Maryland after finishing high school. I think I'm recognized because once you're a hard worker, you can be nominated too. It's just not me because the next person can be sitting in the same couch telling their story and doing their best. I am proud to represent the I Am a Open and thank you. This year we have six candidates for our Youth of the Year program. Everyone enjoys to be recognized, but when we have youth, like the youth that you'll get to meet tonight, who have overcome so many obstacles in their 15 to 18 years, and that they're striving to be the next great thing, their great future started with us, we need to really sit back and recognize them and honor them. Once I started going to the Boys and Girls Club, I've become this bubbly, giggly, happy person. Um, you know, when it came to college, I was really you know, nervous about it because out of all my siblings, I'm the first one to go to college or attempt to go to college. And um, they, they helped me through it all. The moment I hit those doors, my attitude changes from whatever it was throughout the day to automatically positive because I don't want to send that uh, negative energy to the kids. I really enjoy my program, um, Art with Arthur. And I enjoy it too because it, it helps me uh, grow too with them. These kids are very bright, very talented, have worked very hard. And uh, you can just tell by the way they, they carry themselves and the way they address adults that they've been put in a position where they have a lot of confidence in themselves. I believe that kids with the right direction can meet their ultimate potential and have an opportunity to do well in life. The winner tonight will go on and represent our organization at the state level. They win at the state, then they go to the regional competition, and eventually they could go to the national. Three out of the last four years, our candidate has won the state and gone to the regionals. Are you ready? Diamond Gray. Yeah. the Bates Boys and Girls Club nominee of Youth of the Year. I just want to say thank you to Miss Frankie for instilling confidence in me, Mr. Starks for your motivational speeches you bestow upon me, for Miss Lisa for your wonderful humor and your support, and, most, and last but not least, my mother. She is constantly pushing me, and she's a real reason why I know the meaning of sacrifice. And my little brother right there, Jack. And remember, Diamond Gray is the right way.